What's your religion? Hunati. What is it? Hunati. Hunati. No, Hunati. Hunati. Did I say it correctly? Mm hmm. Hello. Hello. My name is Drew. My name is Toby. I'm Mary. I'm Matthew. You're back. I am back, yes. Pretty much almost exactly two years ago I was here on set. And I'm here to guess more languages. Today, you're guessing what language people speak? Yes. <laughs> How many languages do you speak? Uh, I speak two fluently, English and German, and then I dabble in a couple other languages. I am fluent in English, Thai, of course, that's my native language, and also Mandarin Chinese. I used to be a professor at International Music. I taught about music from every country in the world, so I've heard quite a few of them. I can sort of pick them out of the crowd just by exposure to them. I'm like that type of person who like emulates what Bad Bunny is saying, you know, selfies, say cheese, hey, <laughs> And then after that, I'm like vibing out. <laughs> we got eight different languages for you. Okay. You ready for your first test? Yeah, am I gonna be blindfolded or I yeah, go oh to yeah. it? Okay. Are you ready for your first person? E sure. <laughs> I'm like, are you in front of me? Wait, look at that. Wait, look at that. No, bit, no, bit, such a chicken. I'm just my own. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, starting it out already. Hi, I'm Matthew. Okay. Yeah, I just heard wo. Wo is uh, I in Mandarin, and also I'm hearing a lot of tones. How do you say, let's go out today? You would speak like one of my friends. Can you say strawberry in your language? Tome? Yep, it's chow mei. It's definitely Chinese. <laughs> it's probably dialect. I think it's from the south of China. I know that in China there's a lot of Wu languages like Sujanese, Wenzhenese. Mozi Oh, that like Sahe thing you just did. I know a son in Shanghainese that did exactly that. Final guess, Shanghainese. I would have to go with that it, it's one of the dialects of Mandarin. It's a dialect from China. I think it's from Hunan. Okay, I'm gonna guess Japanese. It just sounds like part of an anime almost. Like it's like ta 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 ta. You can take everyone. You were right. Oh goodness, oh hello, hi. Hi. Okay, so was I right? No. Oh, was so I right? So I speak Shanghainese, which is a dialect in China. No way, that's Shanghainese. Yes. I live in China for like six months, really? Yeah. How close was Ch uh, Shanghainese to Mandarin Chinese? It's pretty different. So my grandparents, they don't speak Mandarin. And okay. so sometimes when they like go out in public, mm -hmm. it's a little difficult for them because now Mandarin is like the most widely spoken that language everywhere. Did mm -hmm. you like grow up in Shanghai and then move here or? I was born here, but I speak it with all my family because all of my family, like my extended family, they all live in Shanghai. Okay. And so when I go back to visit them, that's the only language we can all communicate in. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What is that like, like speaking a language that's definitely like a minority language. Mm -hmm. It's really special for me, mm -hmm. especially now like the kids in Shanghai aren't learning it at mm -hmm. home. So for me, I'm really trying to hold on to that. And like, it's a special part of my identity. Oh yeah. I, thank thank you. you. Good luck. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Not me saying Japanese. Game Jim, Matthew. Oh goodness, you're here to kill me. I just going to call a person, I don't call a person. Game Cho. Game Cho. That's how you say hello. Game Cho at Wow, that's like a lot of like tongue exercise. Tongue at jib. They said that their, their tongue works great. <laughs> that's what they said. <laughs> What's your religion? Hunati. What is it? Hunati. Hunati. No, Hunati. Hunati. Did I say it correctly? Mm hmm. Have you heard of that religion before? No. <laughs> What's the most amazing fact about you? Whoa. I would say this language is from around India or within India. I feel like we are in India. I don't know like the, the specific Indian mm. language, but mm. I'm just gonna go with, with the overall encompassing Indian if that's bad. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. It sounds very similar to Hindi, the sound from 
the Thorode. Who could the like something, <laughs> something, <laughs> something like that? I think it's from Tibet. I'm gonna say the number in Hindi, and then you say it in your language. Okay, ek. Ek. Do. Be. Okay, he said be. Be. This is Gujarati. They use Bay and Gujarati. Yeah, it's Gujarati. Yeah! Nice, good stuff, dude. All right. Good guess, good region. Yeah. Correct country. The language is called Gujarati. It's a state language. India. In India. Oh my god, Gujarati. Uh, okay, I yeah. feel like my friend is... Gujarati? Guj yeah, Gujarati. Yeah, yeah. Gujarati is the language and also how you would refer to someone from that state. Oh my god! How did I miss Your that? Your friend's gonna go in the comments. I know! And say you didn't I'm know I'm sorry, Diksha. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw a tiger, what should I say? Vag. That's a Vag. Vag. Yeah. Okay. Very like throw. You have to like Vag. breathe out as you're saying it. Vag. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank cool. you. That's nice what you should say. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. You say tiger. Yeah, tiger. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, yeah. You want no, other like, people to know that there's a tiger. Uh, okay. Around. You know yeah, that's yeah, very yeah, considerate yeah, yeah, of you yeah. actually. Cool. Nice meeting yeah, you. Nice meeting you. Hi, Sahib. Hello. This sounds like something that is like related to. Arabic, but is not Arabic. My first instinct upon hearing you is like, ah, Horn of Africa, like Ethiopia, Eritrea, could be speaking like Amharic, Tigrinya. How do you say, <laughs> what are you doing tonight? Aum Hassam Anissa. But like, say it like flirtatious, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're trying to hit on me. Aum Hassam Anissa. Hmm. Was that not flirtatious enough? I wasn't really feeling it, but like, I appreciate the effort, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Magaid Wa Abdi Qadr. Magaid Wa Abdi. Are you from Asia? Maya, Maya, Maya. Maya, Maya, Maya. I guess that's a no. Um, <laughs> is your country Muslim? Ha. Ha. Okay, ha. okay. Does it sound like Nigerian? Oh, you got Nigerian shade? Maya, Are you throwing some Nigerian shade? Maya, Maya, Maya. I love you some Nigerian! I was thinking North Africa because the kind of flow, the pattern of it was really similar to Arabic. Didn't ask Africa more, didn't ask Africa why. I'm gonna say from Morocco. I think it's Middle Eastern. Didn't and he like also Eastern. smells really good. Didn't ask him out. Okay, final guess Dubai. He smells really good. And from my experience, people from Dubai put shit ton of perfume on them and it smells so good. So I'm broadening my area to, to include Somali. You might be Somali. Okay, I know this like Somali hip hop group called Wayaha Usub. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have some sort of reaction to that. How? 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 Based on how you reacted to that, I think you're speaking Somali. It sounds like Tigrinya, like Somalia, like. He's telling me I got one of them. I don't know which one it is. Okay, which one do you think it was? Somali? Is that how you say it? Somali? Ding, ding, ding. Oh, come on! Oh my god, wait, wait, can I take it off? Yeah. No. <laughs> you were right about the, the perfume that I had being from Dubai. I did get it from Dubai. I was back there. Oh. But I'm actually Somalian. Uh huh. You I mean, it's your like, homework. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, well, I gave the homework. I used to teach a class about international music from every country oh, in the world, okay. and they were in the homework that I assigned uh, to my students. I, well, that group, they, they're still doing their thing and their thing. You were Whoa. filthy. You did that. <laughs> Dang! Hey, I'm culturally competent, yo! <laughs> What was your name? Abdi. What's Abdi, name? Mary. Nice, to, nice meet to meet you. Thank you, Abdi. What do you think of my outfit? PC. How's your day? Mdi, muni hakadi. Koi sabadi. Ciao day. It's giving Asian. <laughs> do you have any like songs from your childhood that you'd want to sing for us? And if you don't mm. want to sing, I understand. Dai dai dai, koi mi. Do ka dai, do kao kao, hu yao yao, hang pom pom. Parts where you're saying remind me of Thai, but you're not using enough consonant clusters for me to think that it is Thai. How do you say hello again? Sabadi. Sabadi. I'm gonna go with Thai. It sounds really similar to what I think Thai sounds like. Benjang Dai. Oh, Lao Nanon. Woohoo! Lao, Lao, Lao. Chalk in some thumb, Shame. Oh, man, Leo, man, Leo. It's like you're right. <laughs> Dang, I am. Woo! Thailand and Laos is pretty much like neighbors, so we have like the same dialect. Lao is very similar to Thai linguistically. I don't hear a whole lot of Lao because their music industry is mm. it doesn't have the best infrastructure. They're not really. A, <laughs> they're not. They need help. Um, 
It's the government's fault, not the people's fault. I'm just go with Lao. You can take out your blindfold. <laughs> Hello. Very close. <laughs> it's Lao language. So Lao. Lao uh, is very close. close. All right. Okay. All right. It's She's loud and gang. She's I'm good. Yeah, she's very good. <laughs> we wow. don't have much of music that I don't think anyone know much about it. <laughs> yeah, I feel like people mostly just listen to like Thai music over there. Yeah, we can. Yeah, we can only understand what they say. I can speak fluent Lao and Thai. It's very close neighbor, so therefore we totally can understand what they say. Nearly hundred percent, maybe ninety nine. <laughs> Do you want to go back to Lao? Yeah, I go back and visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going home in December and I'm so excited. <laughs> nice meeting you. Sawadee ka. Sawadee ka. Thank you. 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 for a romantic partner? Thank you. 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 Tell you best. Say it like you mean it. Tell you best. South America. South America. I think we're somewhere in South Asia. And one language that is coming to mind for me is uh, Konkani. It's a language from the state of Goa in India, but it was conquered by the Portuguese, so it has some like Portuguese influence to it. We are going, I think, like towards the European, mm. possibly. Forte bine. Forte, forte bine. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Italy. You want to take me or what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what's your favorite pasta? Let's go. Uh, <laughs> spaghetti. <laughs> Expecting him to say something along the lines of like, fettuccine, lingui... Girl, let me stop because I'm sounding racist. Let yeah. me stop. No, you fettuccine, dar. He's saying fettuccine. Like, yeah. we're in Italy. This is sounding like it's remnant of Irish. The trilled R. Da -da, da -da. Yeah. You can take your blind This man's fun. You're beautiful. Okay, so is it Italian? No. Brazil? Nope. It's not Colombia. It's not South American. So did I get it right? No, not no. even close. Romanian, man. Romanian? What? Yeah. I used to live with a Romanian bro. I, he spoke Romanian all the time. The I should know this. That's embarrassing then. That is oh. very embarrassing. I'm telling you. <laughs> What's like a Romanian dish that's really popular? Sarmale. That's what I was saying. You asked me to order it and I was like, I would get sarmale. Sarmale and mama liga. My grandma mama makes the best. What's mama liga? It's like a polenta. Oh, I was like, mama liga, liga like, what? Wow. <laughs> Liga, Liga, something. No, like, <laughs> I'm very sorry to say this, but of all the countries in the world, Romania is my least favorite country in the world musically out of all of them. I think you're, it's not your fault. Your pop music industry needs to get with it and realize that people want something interesting, not just like some plastic thing you can dance to, okay? Cat music, I'm talking to you right now. I'm sorry. Teach me how to curse in Romanian. Sujim Pula. Sujim Pula. Which means suck my dick. <laughs> Sucha Pula. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> great meeting you. Yeah, great meeting you too. <laughs> you got some good looking people up in here. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Yeah, good. Oh, I'm going to be coming to you again. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Pretend you're like your mom, and your mom is like, get over here right now. Yes, not to me because your mom is like, be a bit of talk, man. I think this is a language in India. Is it Hindi? Can you say how are you? Ishtastip. What's your religion? Masalbon. Muslimbon. It sounds so sexy and that might be Arabic. <laughs> Can you whisper in my ear and say, you're fucking hot. <laughs> Shit, that's so, that is so sexy. We're probably looking at some place that has a very noticeable Arabic influence. You might be speaking like an Iranian language. Not necessarily from Iran, but like in that branch mm -hmm. linguistically. We have like, you know, Farsi, Persian, whatever you want to call it, of course. Could be like Pashto Dari from Afghanistan, could be a Kurdish. Do you have any specific feelings about Mojda Jamalzada? Who's that? What She's that? a very famous Afghan pop singer. I don't know how to interpret that, <laughs> but Mojda Jamalzada usually sings in Dari. So if you spoke that, I would think you might have an opinion about her. I'm gonna say that you are speaking Farsi. I think it's Arabic. I think it's Nepalese. I'm gonna land on Turkish. I did like the Duolingo course on <laughs> Turkish for like <laughs> two days. Hi! Uh, looks like I'm right? No. No! <laughs> I'm uh -huh. speaking Dedi. 
Deddy. Deddy. Yeah, it's from Afghanistan. Did you yes. grow up in Washington or um, no, I you was in America? Born in Afghanistan mm -hmm. for like six ish years and then I came straight wow. to Seattle. And do you still like speak your Daddy? Yeah, yeah, here? Yeah, my mother speaks English to me and I have to remind her like, do not. Don't, like, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to lose this. Like, yeah. you gotta speak Daddy, come on. Yeah, so. and if you have kids, will you still speak? Oh, 100%. 100%. Oh my God, babe, you were on it. You were so damn Was. close. Moje. Oh my God, first off, I'm sorry, but you said it a little bit differently. I've definitely heard of her. I didn't grow up in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. so I don't really know her that much. Yeah, that makes sense. She was sense. big, you're right. Mm -hmm. That's crazy that you know her. What were you saying in the beginning? Saying, hi, handsome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> of course, you're not lying. And he's blushing. No. I know, ah. I see him blush. It's okay, it's okay, let me fend him up. <laughs> How are you doing? Chop it. Chop it, okay. What do you think of my outfit? I'm in my Guys, your last one, Gotta match. Spatunya lebih gila lagi. Well, what's a song that maybe like a childhood song? Nggak bisa, nggak bisa, nggak bisa. Is that the song? Nggak. Nggak bisa nyanyi. I don't want to say that it's not a bop, but I'm not. You know. What if I accidentally ripped one of your favorite shirt? Bang sat ngentot lu tuh bego banget anjing. I would say this is like an island language, like in the Asian Pacific. Uh, this is Austronesian. Austronesian language, they, they sound very pleasant. Um, they have very few consonant clusters. You're from somewhere around like Indonesia or the Philippines or something like that. Could you count to 10 for me? Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tujuh, lapan, sembilan, sepuluh. Okay. Did you notice that Lima was five? That's how you know it's Austronesian, because they all do that. I'm starting to lean towards like the Philippines, and I think the language I'm gonna pick is Tagalog. I'm gonna guess Farsi, because it sounds like it's from the Middle East. I don't know, but that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna have to go with Malay. A lot of the things that you say are words I've heard before in Malay, Indonesian stuff. Those two languages are extremely, extremely similar. And I know that the word for eight in Malay has two syllables, and Indonesian has three syllables. Can you? Tell me, what's your famous dish in your country? Hmm, nasi goreng. <gasps> nasi goreng, Indonesia! Indonesia! The giveaway is the nasi goreng. Was that close? <laughs> close, pretty close. It was Indonesian. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah it's... I speak in like slang, like not so Oh, formal. you can count in slang? Like, it's the lapan for eight. Okay. Like, so you're right. Yeah. But we just like, since it's like super fast, we just say like lapan. Oh, okay, that makes sense <coughs> then. Yeah. yeah. That was like, I'm kind of throwing you off with the way I say it, but that's the way I say it, so. Yeah. 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 You tricked me and it worked, and yeah. that's fine. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Teach me some slang that'll make them think I'm cool. <laughs> Do you want like insult words? Yeah, why not? Okay. <laughs> Bangsat. What's that one mean before you say it? It's hard to translate it, but um, like, fuck. Bangsat. <laughs> Will people get mad if I go um, around saying I don't think <laughs> I don't think a lot of people would understand because there's so many regions mm -hmm. in Indonesia. That makes sense. I think there's like 300 languages there. Does that ever get hard, like having so many languages in one spot? Yeah, because sometimes you can meet someone who's Indonesian, mm. but they're not from like Java. Okay, so... And they, then they like oh, yeah, speak a different one. So, yeah. yeah. How do you say thank you? Uh, it's it's terima kasih, but I just terima kasih. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if you can tell I'm still upset about Romanian. Uh, yeah. Mingalaba? Mingalaba! 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 And other Asian countries? Mingalaba, 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 Mingalaba. Mingalaba? Oh, I know this song. So it's like, Mingalaba, Taliswa, Demo, Taliswa, Kunja Ai, Taliswa, that kind of thing. And you said Mingalaba, which is in the song. It's a banger, by the way. What would you order me for dinner? Ooh. Yeah, and I want like three entrees. Ooh. Yeah, and dessert. Ah, uh, Ono Kaosue. Ono Kaosue. Mm -hmm. Mohinka. Mohinka. Ooh. <gasps> Tamincho. That sounds like a good last dish. Baisa, maybe. Did you just call me baby? I feel like we're in Asia. Taiwanese. My guess would be this would be from Central Africa. 
I am leaning towards Burmese because like I recognize that that greeting is in that Burmese song. What do you like about the country you're from? Gaone, country at Tayare is HNA, Nilo Gaone, Lazia, Nyashi, Down Gong, Down Me, Net, Nyajibe, Lalelu, Yale. You've got some very interesting consonants going on here. This sort of like kind of thing going on. Lovely. Um, also makes me think even more that you could be speaking Burmese. I think it's Burmese for sure, like 100%, because in Thailand there's a lot of Burmese people. I am, I am so sure. Mingalaba, 100%. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> you got it. All right, cool. <laughs> that wasn't close at all, was I? <laughs> yeah, Thailand and, and, and Myanmar, we're neighbors. neighbors yeah. We're neighbors for yeah, sure. A lot of people, um, you know, they, they, they go to uh, see asylum in Thailand and stuff like that, so yeah. Why did you move to the U.S.? Burma, the government is a dictatorship, so mm -hmm. um, it's hard to survive there, and then education sucks. Mm -hmm. And then um, lately, uh, like two years ago, um, there's a war started between like government and civilian, and now it's still going on. I've heard that things aren't so great in. Oh, yeah, um, especially like what's going on right now. You know, yeah. they're fighting for it. So I hope one day they get freedom. So. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm really sorry to hear that. How long have you lived here? Um, probably like. 13 years. So how long have you not going home? I mean, since I arrived, uh, I got here. 13 years? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I I, okay. Do you miss home? I do, sometimes. Is your, is your family here? Yeah, everyone's here. Okay, Whew. Yeah. now that's all that matters. Yeah, mostly my dad, he did the um, all the hard part. Like, he came here first as a refugee, and mm -hmm. then and after that, he called the whole family here. Oh, wow. Then, so yeah. Yeah, oh my God, thank God for your family that you're here, you're safe. I know. And you have all of them with you, so. That's true. Yay! Who did Drew guess correctly? Ooh. Cool. Like, kind of correct, uh, clarify. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's we'll a... be gentle, we'll be gentle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I guess, yeah, underneath the yeah. umbrella, I got. He told us to be nice. You <laughs> 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 squat out with my <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ooh. 50. Ooh, 50%. Ooh, 50 is there something in common with the people you guessed correctly? <laughs> <laughs> All the Asians! Go Asian! Who did Matthew guess correctly? Yeah, yeah, you can be nice to him, too. <laughs> Please, I'm very he upset. Like he was so close, but he didn't yeah. stick the landing. Mm. That hurts me a lot. <laughs> How was this experience, Joe? It was really fun to try to guess him because it's like, most of these languages I would never interact with before, so I felt really lucky to get to hear them. Can everybody wow. say, Kao Kun Ka? Kao Kun Ka! Woo! We did that! All right, that <laughs> if you like languages and trivia and naming things and knowing facts, check out Cut's newest game, Humble Brag. To win, you don't always have to know the answers, you just have to make people think you might. I give you five American Idol finalists. Oh! Hi. That's a good challenge, Dan. Challenge, Get Craig Aiken. Craig? Available now at Barnes and Noble stores or check out the link in the description. Craig? Rock? Whatever. Craig? Craig Aiken! There we go.